All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 1,000 minus 2 to the power of 999 minus 2 to the power of 998. So to solve this problem, I'm going to start by rewriting 2 to the power of 1,000 as 2 to the power of 998 plus 2. I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 999 as 2 to the power of 998 plus 1. And I'm going to keep 200, 2 to the power of 998, sorry, 998 as is. So now I have 2 to the power of 998 plus 2 minus 2 to the power of 998 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 998. So all my exponents have 998 in them. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I can write 2 to the power of 998 as 2 to the power of 998 times 2 to the power of 2. Now I have 2 to the power of 998 times 2 to the power of 1. And I simply have 2 to the power of 998 at the end. Now, to simplify this, I'm going to simply factor out 2 to the power of 998 from this, because all the terms have 2 to the power of 998 in them. So now I'm going to be left with 2 squared minus 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. Now this is equal to 2 to the power of 998 times 2 squared, as we all know, is 4. Minus 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2. And we still have, we are left with 1 at the end. So now 2 to the power of 998 times 4 minus 2 minus 1. So to simplify this, 4 minus 2 is simply equal to 2. 2 minus 1 is simply equal to 1. So I have 2 to the power of 998, oops, sorry, 998 times 1, which is simply equal to 2 to the power of 998. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So to solve this problem, I'm going to start by adding as well as subtracting 4 x squared on my left-hand side. So now I'm going to have x to the power of 4 plus 4 plus 4 x squared minus 4 x squared is equal to 0. So 4 x squared minus 4 x squared is simply 0, so this doesn't really do any illegal changes. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as x squared to the power of 2. I'm going to write x to the power of 4 is x squared to the power of 2. Plus 4, I'm going to write as 2 squared. Plus 4x squared, I'm going to write as 2x to the power of 2. And I'm going to put this in parentheses. And at the end, I simply have minus 4x squared is equal to 0. Now, if I factor this, I get x squared plus 2 squared minus 4x squared is equal to 0. And 4x squared, that's the same thing as 2x squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this is going to equal x squared plus 2 plus 2x times x squared plus 2 minus 2x. This is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 2 plus 2x is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus 2 minus 2x is equal to 0. So to solve these all we have to do is simply plug these into the quadratic formula. So I'll rewrite this as x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. And I'm going to rewrite this as x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals 0. So I'm actually not going to waste your guys' time and put these in the quadratic formula. I'll just say that x. if you go ahead and simplify, put plug this into the formula and simplify, you get that x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i. So these are the two solutions for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0. And for x squared minus 2x plus 2, you get x is equal to i 
or sorry, x is equal to i plus or minus 1. So my four solutions are negative 1 plus i, negative 1 minus i, i plus 1, and i minus 1. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 27 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 9 here as 3 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 27. I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 3. So equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now I can actually switch the places of these two as well as these two. So now I'm going to have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x squared is equal to 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now if I let 3 to the power of x equal to the variable t, I'll have t plus t squared is equal to t to the power of 3. So now if I rewrite this, I can have th t to the power of 3 minus t squared minus t is equal to 0. So now if I factor out t from this, I get t times t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have t equals 0, which is already a solution, and I have t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. So to solve t squared minus t minus 1 equals 0, all I have to do is plug this into the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So I have t is equal to negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1. And I have all of this over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this simplifies to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which simplifies to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So remember how we said that t is equal to 3 to the power of x. So let's first start with our first solution of t, which is t equals 0. So if t equals 0 and 3 to the power of x is equal to t, then that means 3 to the power of x equals 0. And this is actually incorrect because you can't take the power of a, of a number and make it equal to 0. So this has no solution of x. So now we come over here to two solutions of x. We have 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So if 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, to solve this, I'm going to first take the ln on both sides. So I have ln 3 to the power of x is equal to ln 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I... And now I can move this to the front. So now I have x times ln 3 is equal to ln 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by ln 3, these two cancel out. And I'll be left with x is equal to ln 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over ln 3. And this is actually 1 plus or minus because the same goes for 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these are my two solutions.